Well, welcome back. We're now taking questions for veterinarian Alan Berger, who's here with Raider, who's up for adoption through Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. And I believe we already have a caller on the line. Lynn, are you there? What's your question? Yes, I am. I have a question about cats. Um, I have always heard that when cats swish their tail back and forth, that that means that they're agitated or, you know, not happy. However, my cat comes to me for attention. She lays down by me. I pet her, and then she swishes her tail. So I'm not sure if it can mean something else also. Yeah, um, a lot depends on the cat. Uh, knowing the cat's personality, I don't think there's a universal interpretation to what a swishing tail means. And it's, I don't know if it's like when a person comes up and yells at you. Sometimes some people yell at you because they're boisterous and happy, and some people yell at you because they're mad. And I don't know exactly how to tell the context of a cat switching its tail without really looking at the cat and asking the cat, all right, well, what do you mean by that? All right, Lynn, thank you for your question. We have another caller on the line. Heather, Helen, rather, what's your question? Um, I have a cat that keeps scratching itself and it bites and, and uh, it just seems to be very nervous. What's the problem? Well, two possibilities. Uh, first is it could just be that it's nervous and that is a stress behavior. And in that instance, running some medical tests is useful, but then do we try and find some sort of a, a way to make the cat happy? And that can vary from environmental enrichment to just making sure the cat has happy places to go and scratching posts and appropriate cat ways to behave. Could mean a feel-away diffuser, which is a brand name of a pheromone that in some cats makes them happy. And then it could mean that, hey, we need some sort of an antidepressant. Um, second thing that I worry about if it's not just nerves is allergies will cause an itch that will sometimes cause cats to bite enough that, hey, it looks like it's behavioral, but really there's an underlying skin problem. And that too, just like you know, looking for something medical, if we're going to go with a behavior modification drug, a veterinarian to take a look and just make sure it's not an itch. All right, Helen, thank you so much for your question. And it seems like we've been getting a lot of questions about animal behavior. When it comes to adoption, such as a dog like Raider, how do you match the personality with the person? Yeah, um, spending some time with a pet before you adopt it is, is pretty important. Um, Raider, for instance, look forward, dude. <laughs> um, he's, he's an interesting fellow. Um, he's been very focused on movement and very focused on, he seems like women better than men. He's uh, um, just whenever a woman wa would walk by when we were out in the waiting area, that's, that's what he would focus on. A little bit is breed dependent, so to talk to somebody who's knowledgeable about dogs and, and to a lesser degree cats, but different breeds of cattle have different stereotypical behaviors. So it's just really important to spend some time with them before adopting them. Yeah. All right, veterinarian Alan Berger, thank you so much for joining us. Coming up tomorrow, our financial expert joins us to talk about getting a late start to retirement planning. Stay with us here on your 24-hour news source, KCRG TV9. We'll be right back.